Hey there YouTubers. Alright, so in this video we're going to update the BIOS to our Gigabyte H610MS2H DDR4 motherboard. This is a 12th gen LGA1700. So let's just uh, show you how I got to this point. Alright. Now whatever search engine you pick, you're going to type in Gigabyte h 6 10 m S2H and then you will click on the first link click on support and then down here to BIOS now there's all kinds of reasons to update the BIOS we're not gonna you know get into that aspect in this video I've done several videos on it and there's other ones but if you're watching this there's there's a reason you need to update the BIOS right whether it be uh, security hardware updates uh, maybe you bought this new i9 12900KS maybe 13th gen CPUs came out lots of reasons for updating the BIOS okay now most likely if you bought this uh, prior to uh, March 28th we're doing this video April 10th so uh, well before March 28th, I'd say this is probably the latest BIOS update here. Okay, this FFA, which is interesting naming convention. Yours probably shipped with FE or FD. All right, so I'm going to download this. And then after I do that, I'm going to put it on a thumb drive. All right, but we first want to extract all so that's been extracted and this is your BIOS file here okay you see there's different ways to flash the BIOS for this motherboard we're gonna do it inside the BIOS so from here folks I'm going to find a thumb drive and we'll go ahead and put it in all right I'll be back in a second All right, so our thumb drive popped up. Now, probably not a bad idea to have a brand new thumb drive. Maybe not, not necessarily a brand new thumb drive, but a thumb drive that is completely empty of other files, right? This is gonna make life easier. But uh, in this case, you know, you saw what I did. So I have this folder with these other files. We're gonna drop this file onto the thumb drive at the very base and it's on there okay so there's our file now sometimes you know you can copy this or cut it out of here and put it at the very base of this thumb drive I'm gonna leave it where it's at and so we're ready to do this okay now what I always say in my videos folks you know Besides, you know, watching this video through its entirety and uh, making sure you know what you're doing, make sure the weather's good. Make sure you don't have any tornadoes, hurricanes, landslides, uh, any kind of power outage. If you have a battery backup, it might be wise to use that. If you're running solar, you know, and it's about to get cloudy, make sure uh, you're going to have enough juice to, to make it through this, right? So what you don't want to do is have your computer crap out in the middle of the BIOS update and basically brick your motherboard. You will see, if you look at enough BIOS update videos, enough people have had those problems, okay? Luckily, yours truly, uh, been a long time since I've had any problems doing it. So uh, odds are, you know, probably 99 point something percent uh, chance that you're gonna be successful with doing this if you follow the steps. Now, let's go ahead and uh, reboot this computer. we 
almost feel like the uh, get that light out of the way. So as soon as this gets out of here, we're going to start hitting the delete key, all right? At least hopefully we are. There we go. So I'm doing this uh, with a capture card. And, uh, oh, actually it popped up. Sometimes it doesn't, some of the screens don't pop up, and then the next thing you know, I'm in the BIOS. So you can see in here what we've got going on. Here's our motherboard. Here is our CPU. And you know, most of the time you can see in here what the BIOS version is. And there it is right there, folks. So FB. So this is not, um, we don't have the newest BIOS in here, obviously. All right. So what I want to do is go over to QFlash. And we're going to do update BIOS. And I basically uh, left mouse click there. So then you can see in here, this is the folder. There's my file. I left mouse click on that. And my picture is in the way. I know you guys want to, you know, have, have me in there, right? So we are... I just got done working out, so I just had to do that. Um, click the next button. Are you sure to update BIOS? You know, this is funny. Are you sure to update? You know, it would be like, do you want to update the BIOS? Are you sure you want to update the BIOS? So they're missing a word in here. Oh, well. Uh, yes, I do want to update it. All right, so at this point, folks, get away from the um, we're gonna click press to start okay and then we're gonna back away from the computer all right uh, okay well we're gonna click okay now we're gonna back away okay so hands up keep them off the keyboard keep them away from the mouse and this thing should start doing its thing if we're lucky so it's going to reboot. You saw that message. Updating BIOS now. Should go pretty quick. So you can see, if you look to the, the upper left, our BIOS version, like we said, was FB. That BIOS update was done November 11, 2021. So it honestly took Gigabyte forever to get these motherboards up on Amazon. At least uh, I don't remember seeing them until maybe a month ago when I bought mine. But uh, then you see the new update BIOS, FFA. And that was from uh, March 28th. So really not that long ago. Three, 13 days ago. Fifty seven percent. Yeah, I have a bunch of these I need to do for you guys. Uh, but I haven't done the BIOS walkthrough of this. I haven't even... Actually, I think this is the first time I've been in the BIOS on this one. So, while we're waiting for this, some things that might happen, you may find that uh, it does something funky with your boot drive. Uh, so, you'll want to verify which drive it is booting to. If you have multiple drives on there, it may or may not be a problem. And then, good chance if you have your RAM overclocked that it uh, will reset to 2666 or, or whatever the base speed of that RAM is. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll remember to do that. Show you guys that. I I don't think that I had the RAM overclock before I did this video and then this is the H610M so your max overclock speed is 3200 megahertz anyways which is you know one one of the reasons I don't really recommend this motherboard it is cheap you know 
people like these cheap motherboards. Uh, sadly, though, this this hundred dollar motherboard, you know, if you go back a few generations, was that for that price, you could have got something a lot better in old generations, right? Full ATX. But uh, you know, this is 12th gen, so you can definitely put a better CPU in this that'll outdo anything from previous generations. To include AMD stuff, so it's rebooting. And it's odd, the name of the computer. Huh. All right, so we're in here now, and uh, we're going to go back to the BIOS, folks. Mainly because we want to verify that it is indeed updated. Come on. Come on, computer. Yeah. All right, so we should... We should be able to get into BIOS. Here we go. Okay, so XMP, in case you, like I said, did a BIOS update, most likely this will disable. Um, punch that back in, boom, you're overclocked, right? And then it obviously it booted a Windows. I only have one drive on here, so just, you know, make sure that your uh, stuff is correct. This, um, this should be the USB drive I plugged in. And then here's the actual drive it's booting to so but hey thanks for checking out the video hope you got something out of it please like please subscribe thank you